Good morning to you. Time now for business. Now, Vice Chairman of the Public Interest Accountability Committee, PIAC, Kwame Jantua, has reiterated the readiness of the committee to monitor tax compliance by the new entrant into Ghana's oil and gas industry, ExxonMobil. According to him, the committee has been able to build capacity over the years to be able to handle huge entities that will participate in the country's petrochemical industry. He spoke in an exclusive interview with Joy Businesses after addressing some selected journalists in a workshop at Kufodia. Once it goes to Parliament and is ratified, I'm sure we will see the content of that contract. And when that happens, let's talk again and see whether the content of that PA that has been signed is beneficial to Ghana. But does our regulatory bodies have the capacity to look, uh, regulate a company like ExxonMobil as huge as it is? Why? Because it's huge. Yes, they wield a lot of uh, financial power. And they, make, they can make and, and make governments. But remember, they came in earlier, didn't they? The government of the day wasn't in agreement with some of the things they wanted done. So they abrogated the, the negotiations. We are a sovereign country. And any company that comes into our country should abide by our laws. The same way if we go into any country to do work there, we have to abide by their laws. I don't take the fact that they're a big company and they have money, that means they can railroad our, our laws. No, I don't think that is possible. And we have the institutions to hold them responsible if they do anything against the laws of Ghana. Do they monitoring them? Oh, we have to monitor them. We have to. It's not including monitoring them. <laughs> that is a responsibility that we have to do. And PIAC would treat ExxonMobil like all the other IOCs we are working with. Do you have the capacity to do that? What capacity? What are you talking about capacity? We have the capacity to uh, 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 work with Talo and Cosmos, don't we? We have the capacity to work with ENI. Because ExxonMobil has money, we don't have the capacity. We will show you that we have the capacity. And we will not allow them to do things that are ultra virus to our laws. I, I don't think uh, Pierre could sit down and say because it's, uh, what do you call it, ExxonMobil, we are going to give them preferential treatment. No, I don't think so. And I don't think anybody in government should do that. Anybody in parliament should do that. Our judiciary should do that because we are a sovereign country. But the fact that we've signed an agreement without Pierre having the document or holding the contract details. Is that not a, a, a worry to say, Piak, will Piak be able to look, look at this? No, no, no. They have, haven't even started production yet. They haven't started production. And I'm sure that contract vis-a-vis uh, -vis the EMP law would be, would be transparent. Be Away from that, the country's earnings from its traditional exports for last year witnessed significant increase Figures from the Bank of Ghana showed that it went up by $2.6 billion to $13.7 billion in December 2017. According to figures from the Bank of Ghana, gold brought in $5.7 billion compared to $4.9 billion secured in 2016 for last year. Coco contributed $2.7 billion, about $2 million more than what it got in 2016, while crude oil exports went up from $1.3 billion in 2016 to $3 billion ending December 2017. Sources close to government are attributing the strong earnings from the precious metal gold's increase in volumes exported. The development could help the Bank of Ghana show up its dollar bank balance, which could go a long way to stabilize the city. However, the country's total import bill, as at the end of last year, stood at $12.6 billion. And that's business for now. We'll bring you some more updates at midday. My name is Imano Apuaji. We are free. Up next is sports. <music>